A type of snake that has no business being in Florida is now a threat to other wildlife in the Everglades. And now a father and son duo have made it their mission to track down as many Burmese pythons as possible. ABC 7's Erica Jackson joins us live to share how one Sarasota family is helping reduce the number of pythons in the wild. Erica. Scott, good evening. While many families are enjoying their summer vacation here at the park or at the beach, one Sarasota family is traveling through the state, hoping to come face to face with something many of us would try to avoid. Oh, that's a nice mouth. 11 year old Connor Peltier was nearly at a loss for words when he and his father Tom captured their first wild python in the Florida Everglades. And he just started pulling it out. And he was like, get the bag. And I said, is it going to fit in the bag? He's like, no, never mind. It's not going to fit in the bag. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's huge. And it was big, all right. The Burmese python measuring about 14 feet long. They found the snake during their three day invasive species tour, starting in Sarasota, traveling down the coast of Naples, through the Everglades, ending in Key Biscayne. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice mouth. I was scared that that thing was going to wrap around my dad's neck and like choke him out. <laughs> I know big snakes. I've worked with big snakes in the past. Tom says they caught the python at one of Florida's 22 wildlife management areas where the species can be killed at any time. Whenever you catch one, sadly, and I hate this part, it has to be euthanized on the spot. The python wasn't the duo's only big catch. Tom and Connor also captured a cottonmouth snake, giant cane toad, and a green anole during their adventure. Oh my God, it's biting me. The father and son say their trips are about more than just exploring the wild. I just love like being with my dad and having fun, and I also love like catching the invasive species and helping all of our native wildlife. Environment officials say an average of three pythons are removed from the wild every day, and hunters have removed a total of more than 1,000 invasive Bernie pythons since the state's elimination program started last year. Reporting live in Sarasota, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.